Legends speak of a ancient evil known only as Cthulhu. It is said to have come to this earth from beyond the heavens. Dark Symphony 777 with Cthulhu Saves the World. Uh, this is a very, very small, shortish RPG that's really goofy. I thought, hey, I'm gonna play this game. I had a little fun. Uh, this game really does not take this self too seriously. You can actually get to get this game on Steam for I think like three dollars. This might be made by uh, I think it's called Boy Games. This is like what he's known for. So. Yeah, the characters that were out here. Ah, some crabs. Ah. We're gonna start tonight. actually does have like a lot of goofy stuff on Yes. Let us go with the commentary. For countless ages, that unthinkable being known as Cthulhu has lain dormant in his underwater city of Relay. And Cthulhu. Excuse me, I'm barbering. I'm actually drinking uh, jokes. Cthulhu, a being so terrible that his mere presence is enough to drive the mere mortals insane. Cthulhu sleeps while the world above goes on, oblivious to his presence. Till tonight. Awaken, great Cthulhu! <laughs> As Cthulhu emerged from the bay, the world seemed doomed indeed. Oh, wait! What's that? A brave and mysterious stranger has appeared from atop, high atop yonder cliff. Using a strange holding power. The mysterious stranger has sealed away Cthulhu's horrible power. Power drain. Cthulhu washes up on the neighborhood, neighboring shore, defeated and dejected. Oh, you're waiting all this time? That victory snatched from my grasp by a mere mysterious man is highly frustrating. I must get the power to stop it. How? Luckily for the world, Cthulhu didn't know the one and only way to break the curse and regain his power. In order to break the curse and regain his power, he would have to do the unthinkable. He would have to become a true hero. Only by becoming a true hero would his powers return to him. <laughs> Foolish narrator! While you were busy explaining the situation to the player, I was eavesdropping! Now, I too know the way to regain my power. Whoops. <laughs> I, Cthulhu, do hereby vow to devote my life to become a true hero, but only so that I can regain my powers, summon relates to the surface, and destroy the world. Of course. And thus, the most likely, unlikely hero was born. Welcome to your new life as a wannabe RPG hero. Before we begin, allow me to give you a, free, a few pointers. Remember, Cthulhu needs no assistance. However, for the benefit of the lowly player who dares to control it, you run me into a walk with smack. I'm gonna find, I'm gonna find you, I'm gonna smack you. I will allow you to continue with your feeble tips. Hold the B button while moving to run really fast. 
Hmm, Ross. Foolish game developer. If I gave you the ability to run, I'll finish this still game in half the time. I'll be able to sell it back to the game store before the trading volume drops. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Oh god! This, not, this game was three dollars on Steam. And the person who bought this game, uh, owned it for like a year. Fuck on! Press the Y button to bring up your menu. From here, you can check with members of your party. Check out your stats. Start a fight. Change your equipment. Save your game. Or teleport back to cities you visited. I can save any time. What is this, a first person shooter? Use abilities like insanity slash in combat to make your enemies insane. Insane enemies take more damage from attacks, but watch out as few enemies become more dangerous when insane. There will be no watching out. I shall bestow all the gifts of insanity upon all. Build up your combo count with hits, and unleash a powerful combo finisher ability like Deathblow for massive damage. That's good. So right with you, I'd like to actually play this game sometime this year. Good luck! Cosmic Buster Wrestlings don't need luck. Reforge your own destinies, no matter what the cost of humanity. Now! Where? What are you doing? I told you I'm the ribbing! Die! Then I will make you suffer. I will make you suffer eternal damnation. I will make you watch Dragon Ball Evolution. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Well, let's play water. My one water that I'm not allowed to enter. My one weakness. Ah, I will find a way. I will find a way. Ah, uh, go to that treasure chest. Fine. Got three one ups. You can just one up some red reset a failed battle. Hey! Nice. So, this is the game. So, I'm actually gonna extrapolate a little bit on the combo and the insanity gimmick once we get to our first battle. Hey, what's this? Welcome to Cthulhu Saves the World, the Reckless Cut Combo. Scattered throughout the game are a number of question marks like this one. Talk to each one to go behind the scenes and learn about the game's development. Oh, like I need to know about the game's development. Hey, Control, hey, Blair, you think we can move faster? Alright. Thanks. That's ah, right! You're despicable. Hey, what's that? Ah! A helpless maiden beset by fish and monsters. I shall rescue her, thus becoming a true hero. That would not work, that would work for a normal person, but you have a lot of evil to atone for. I'll take many heroic deeds before you're even remotely close to being considered a true hero. A tongue! Then I will kill the monsters anyway, just for the sake of violence. Come on, player, rock out with that music! I have to I have to admit that it is a buffing soundtrack. Yeah, that's right, the, even the narrator agree with me. You're all. You two dance! <laughs> Alright, I'm in the middle of battle. Round one, we good. Monsters are on normal thing. So, here, here is what separates Cthulhu from a lot of RPGs that I've played. It's three gimmicks. One is the insanity gimmick. So you have Cthulhu and a cup has the ability to make anyone he hits a chance to get insane to become insane. This has two benefits. One, it it basically works the same as Berserk. So basically, the whole gimmick of Berserk is an integral uh, gimmick of the game. Basically, hit an enemy with insanity, it lowers their defense, so that way they take more damage. But at the risk, they actually deal more damage back. They're more guaranteed. Combined with the fact that at the end of the game, Every round that you fight an enemy, they will actually get passively stronger. So you're actually you're actually encouraged to try and finish the battle as fast and as quickly possible. And then we have the combo system. Every time you hit an enemy, the combo system will load up in the game. Every time, the more you have for a the more you have battling in a combo. The more damage a combo finish the move will actually do. So you have like one, like this is like this blow. 30 times one hit. If you do one blow, it'll do 30 damage. 
one if you have two and then you combo it. They'll do 60 damage. So it's basically just adding 30 points every every number. So that's more or less it. Uh, less to be insane. Let's see. Buoys. The nigger species for obvious reasons. Yeah, you're well you're you're probably extinctured. Ah, the goose is insane. Always have your game. Uh, all eyes for a game for you. That's not a gimmick. You'll always get full health uh, if once a battle completes. So you're never gonna have to deal with like healing items once the battle's complete. So you have to you get better strategies. And Cthulhu levels up, and you get a level up bonus. So basically, um, basically each character gets two different levels up. And it's up to you to choose which one you think would work better. Uh, the, the levels up do randomize, so they're not always going to be the same. So I'm going to give... Give Cthulhu, he's more of a physical guy, so I'm going to give him the strength. <coughs> Die, foul slime creatures! I have Cthulhu. He is a foul slime monster. He turned his gaze so made it that he had rescued. Gorgeous. Oh, what? But Gumi gazed upon the mighty Cthulhu. She did not see a crazed octopus dragon man. I said, she saw this. Ah, my eyes! <laughs> Warning. Important image in play may not reflect reality. Right. My hero. Hero indeed! You hear that? What kind of hero yet? No. Fuck harm! I pray I shall never become a true hero and regain my cosmic power to destroy. Brave warrior, who has saved me from a complete death, let me join you on your noble quest. Uh, would you do anything besides get attacked by slime monsters? I have an affinity to the creatures of the sea and call them my friends. Us? Uh, oh, and I have to find people that use the That's uh, more like it! Above all, I, Umi, promote, promise you my wholehearted love and devotion. You great big green punk of absentness. Yes! The Great Cthulhu requires groupies! No! Yay! Does this mean we're dead now? No! We're in a strictly rock star groupie tradition. For now. Cthulhu has a great party. So you have a second party member, you can use the check man. You can also use multi character unit techniques in battle. Gain more allies to it, lock more united abilities. Random encounters are more active in this dungeon. After fighting 25 battles in this area, random encounters will be turned off. If you like to fight beyond that, press the button to bring up the main menu and select the fight option. So yeah, if you want, you can, uh, you can actually just press the fight and I'm on my fight. Uh, let's save. Let's chat. Oh, what's our fish you here? Yes, name is Penta. It's you. Live star fish you here. Something I'm disgusting. So. Hey, can we press that question mark? Why? Because. Why? From the original design document, land for the beginning of the Waterfall Palace of Cthulhu begins with control of Cthulhu and its powerful new state. Easily one battle with a group of heroes serves as a group combat. Basically, let the player half on a be overpowered right at the start. You can move good demo After a battle, a cutscene where it sets up the premise of the game, power, and regain it. In the end, we scrapped this idea. With only 8 minutes of the trial experience with the XBLMG version, we decided that it was more important to get the player to the game as possible, so we created an opening that uses the game. Speaking of the opening, we wanted to show off the new map in the world in the demo. We made up sure that the player has to walk under the bridge and then we can the clips. Multiple layers on a single map. Not one review of the game engine enjoy the walking under bridges. All that work for not. Yeah. Bridges are an important feature in video games. The town of Mikas Mesa Catonia is a castle here in the game. I'm sure there are some heroes there. To Mesa Catonia! 
the grass, right? Yes. All right, the Mesocardonia! You look like more mongooses. Hey! That's an insult the mongooses everywhere! We happen to like mongooses, good sir! Yeah! Duck! Duck, take away the same road! I'm talking. Oh, 
find something in pine? Uh, maybe. I don't know. My potions? Oh, that works perfectly. No. The more healing items only want. Heroes that could lead justice, Dark Fate Cthulhu. We will defeat you and restore life to the world. Very dark to me. That's wrong. The wild magic would tear her that not beautiful man. Or at least her. Oh, please. If I was using my magic to tear someone, I would have picked someone from the heart. Hey! Go! Narrator! Do I get hero points for defeating annoying near, uh, heroes? No. Well, I'm gonna beat them up anyway. First, always try to throw evil. We are sure to win. Right over there, don't look for it. Hide it behind. I cloak it off. No, I have a skin condition. Leave it alone. Ah, see what? See what? Beauty. Are you done? I was like, okay, now I'm done. Are you just- You're just doing that to fit not deliberately, yeah? Yes. Are you gonna go back to the script? Fine. You need human. You with my power to walk away. I have more than enough power to deal with you. Prepare to be defeated! Trouble adjusting to 16 bit. Dive bomb, like how I am. He's a dagger to the bit. You're alright. Oh. This is the first boss right, so I shouldn't be that hard. Uh, sure?
Land Girl Zero. I hope they're okay. They're adventurers, I won't worry about it. They're probably already risk a lot of church. I wonder? Again. Possibly. No contemplation! Contemplation. I'll work to heroism! Great generic there is like Cthulhu. This is one of the few story elements of the game that was originally proposed by Bill Feinberg, the artist. Your plan of integrating the more tight deal with plot and making nothing for you for Ellen. But after I put these before it's done, I probably forgot about them. Whoops. You know Cthulhu's angels will both recognize something. Both Cthulhu's angels. Ignore it. Um. You'll see them later. Okay. Uh, 
ability, combo cow, I feel stronger. Yes, check out these guns. I was gonna click. Don't worry, what's your strongest be? You don't have to worry about it. And his rock a rock star his groupie whatever you are. We will win we will win. Ready? Um, yes. Let's go. Nice. The me look over the mountain and look at the cliff for the sunrise. I know one of the very first things up in the I want to show off the first we have made to get to the sides. There are a few things on the road, so it's good to get sitting on top of a cliff with a sword. As our adventures cross the long bridge, we need